Hi, I'm Dr. Bart Quicken, the Chief Research and Strategy Officer here at Prevent Child Abuse America, and I'm here for another installment of a monthly research review. In this review, I look at a number of studies that have come out recently associated with the Adverse Childhood Experiences study. These studies include both uh, treatments for the consequences associated with ACEs, but also um, looks at some of the limitations and critiques of the Adverse Childhood Experiences framework. This first study uh, looked at interventions to address the biological markers associated with ACEs. We oftentimes hear that ACEs uh, have an effect on the biological functioning of children. And so what these researchers did is they did a review of the literature and uh, what they found was that across studies and across different populations that we're starting to have some evidence of being able to stabilize or actually improve uh, the biological functioning or the biological impairments associated with ACEs. This next study looks specifically uh, at pediatric healthcare interventions for kids uh, who reported having exposure to adverse childhood experiences. And again, they did a literature review, they looked across studies, and what they found is that the most effective interventions uh, typically were, had a multi-component function, that is that uh, it did multiple things. So for example, it included parent education as well as social support. They also found that the most effective interventions had a medium to high intensity. Uh, of delivery of the intervention. And generally, overall, uh, these pediatric healthcare interventions were showed to improve behavioral and mental health outcomes uh, of the kids involved, as well as improving parent child relationships. This next study was an interesting one in, a, in that it looked at the research evidence. Uh, for inquiry associated with adverse childhood experiences. So what they were interested in looking at is um, basically are, are the service providers uh, feeling comfortable and confident to deliver the, the ACEs uh, screening in their practice? I think, but more interesting that this study really looked at, are there any outcomes associated with asking about ACEs? So uh, within our practice, we oftentimes might uh, have an ACEs screener, but are we actually tracking whether or not asking about these ACEs is somehow leading to better treatment or improved outcomes? And I included a quote down here uh, that I found really important uh, from this article. Uh, generally, they were given caution and they say there is therefore a risk that if policy and practice moves faster than research evidence on ACE inquiry, rather than improving situations, unnecessary harm could be caused to individuals or already overburdened systems. It is essential to understand service user and practitioner acceptability identify best practices, and fully understand outcomes following ACE inquiry before its adoption is widely integrated into policy recommendations. This general sentiment follows from an earlier uh, David Finkelhor piece, which really uh, kind of gave some cautions against ACE screening. This final study was uh, published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine, and really it's a, a critical assessment of the 20 years that we have been uh, tracking and understanding adverse childhood experiences, and they really break their critiques down into four areas. The first one um, is that the ACE index fails to include many of the adversities and traumas that kids experience in their life, uh, be it poverty, uh, be it uh, community violence. And so we need to think about expanding the way we think about early adversity. The second one, um, it underplays the effects of uh, adversity throughout childhood, but also across generations. And we need to better understand something about the transmission um, of ACEs across generations. The third one is that the ACEs study really is, comes from a deficit model. It doesn't necessarily take into account protective factors. And finally, that much of the work around ACEs had, has led to interventions uh, for the treatment of the consequences associated with ACEs, uh, but that we haven't necessarily yet built a robust policy agenda. 
So those are the study for this those are the studies for this month. If you have any questions or would like to see a different topic for a research review, please contact me at B K L I K A at prevent child abuse.